For you and the people in your team, how you react to the ups and downs of daily business is a key indicator of your mindset for success. When things are going well, attitudes to failure and levels of emotional intelligence can get covered up. After all, everyone's really happy. But when things go wrong, your and your team's true colours can start to show through. That's why it's helpful to understand whether you're above or below what I call the point of power. So here's the point of power. When people operate below the point of power, they're likely to live by this mnemonic, B E D. They'll look to blame others for the situation, or they'll explain that it was Brexit or coronavirus that was responsible for what's happened. They'll make excuses. They'll say the parts didn't arrive, or I was waiting for a decision, or they didn't have enough resources. And worst of all, they'll be in denial. They'll claim it was nothing to do with them, or that sales were rising even when the facts show that they were falling. Now, people who operate below the point of power paint themselves as victims. The world is simply against them and they're powerless to change things. On the other hand, when people operate above the point of power, they live by this mnemonic, O-A-R. They're going to be really happy to take ownership for their part of the business. They understand that they've got accountability for the output of their team. They'll willingly take responsibility and they never try to blame others. These people, above the point of power, they're the victors. They take control where they can and they're powerful members of any team or business. So when you look at yourself or your team, ask yourself this simple question. Are we above or below the point of power? Now we're all human, so sometimes we can't help but fall below the point of power, especially when the pressure is on. The key here is to recognise this and get back above the point as soon as you can. Ultimately, you want a team of people who all operate for most of the time above the point of power. And if you identify people who are often below the point of power, it's time to take action. Maybe there's a difficult conversation to have there. The point of power is a key part of my team alignment and coaching workshops. To find out how this simple model can help you to improve team performance, get in touch and we'll set up a call.